What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Junorami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We're going to be jumping into the Legendary Goku event with two brand new TURs to hit Global along with the Golden Frieza. So meet Perfect Cell Angel and Frieza Angel. Both of these units got their TURs from very humble beginnings, starting out as forgettable SSRs. On Global, in fact, they were even worse than on JP. I don't know what the discrepancy was for the, the Frieza, but for the... Uh, Cell, his base SSR had infinite stacking already as the JP uh, SSR, but the global one was just terrible. So now they're both good. They both infinitely stack attack and defense. So we're going to be basically seeing how well they can do together on this team. Unfortunately, part of the passive is going to be null and void just because we don't have an all other world warriors team. That's not a very, that's not a very savvy thing to do just because there are not too many other world warrior units that you want to bring on a fully functioning team. But we're basically testing out the uh, the other part of the passive. So they both stack attack and defense. For Cell, he has the nuking factor, so he gains attack and defense per key sphere obtained. So there's no base passive that he will have regardless. All allies key plus two with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained. All attacks effective against all types when there are other world warriors on the team. Yada yada yada. Then for the Frieza, same thing: attack and defense raise, and then he also raises uh, the tech type key plus three ninety percent. Same thing for him. No base passive, because this passive here, attack and defense uh, boosting, that happens when performing a super attack. So they're both basically starting from scratch as far as their base stats. So that's why the, the stacking of attack and defense is very important, so that you can give them a decent enough build so that they can last the duration of these long form events. So attack plus 120, defense plus 100, when performing a super attack. Changes int key spheres to rainbow key spheres, reduces damage received by 40%, again, when all allies are other world warriors. So we don't care about that part so much. We just want the first part to matter. So it's going to be very interesting to see how these two units play out. Um, neither one has a starting passive, so they're basically starting from scratch. So additional, additional, additional. That is the name of the game, and we're going to see how well these guys can do. We're bringing, obviously, dual coolers for a terrifying conquerors and transformation boost. These two, along with the boot tanks, are going to be the third wheels. They're going to be the flex spot. They're not going to do anything. We're going to try to keep their involvement as minimal as possible. Although it's kind of unavoidable with the coolers, they're probably going to do a whole lot. But we'll try to keep that to a minimum. Although, it could actually help speed the process along, because eventually this game might drag on. We've got the Golden Frieza EZA. He raises attack infinitely and also uh, tanks for 90% of the damage. And I guess we're also kind of doing a, a backdoor third showcase for this guy. This is the Int Frieza. He was involved in the Prime Battle Goku EZA LR, but he's a Dokkan event free-to-play drop unit that got his TUR and then his EZA. I never did a showcase on this guy. So this guy raises attack infinitely while lowering attack. He guards against all attacks, all allies, key plus two, attack plus, attack and defense plus 20% when there is a Goku's family category enemy, which is basically this. He has a base passive of attack and defense plus 100 and reduces damage received by 50% when guard is activated. Again, which is at all times. So... We're going to have two really great rotations. Cell and Frieza on one, and then Angel, Frieza, and Frieza on the other. So that's basically it. Let's jump in. I don't know if we want to try to do the no item thing, because this is going to be a single take. And single takes on Legendary Goku events are pretty annoying when it comes to the time consumed. I don't know if I want to screw that up over not, you know, wasting an item. Oh man, did we get lucky? We did. Okay, so we lucked out already with uh, these two being together, so that's good. And it looks like this is actually not too bad of a start. So, right off the bat, both of them have level 1 links. Both of them have not done anything to gain their their passive. This is just what they look like together. So, 100k attack and 50, 60k defense. That's actually pretty good. I'm not going to be too upset with that. So, if we give Cell all of these, he will gain significant attack, but more importantly, he'll gain defense. The defense is what we care about early on because we got to get these guys to be fully self-sufficient. So we'll do the same thing for the Frieza. Frieza's not as much of a threat. And then uh, there's no avoiding it. Cooler is going to get his Dokkan, or not his Dokkan Awakening, his super attack. So this turn is definitely going to be over right here. Uh, we're going to kill him. Now the question is, can we get Frieza's attack in there first? Okay. So there's our real major hit. Oh, wow. I don't think I've seen these before. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Okay, never mind. Wow, that's... Uh, this is actually going to take longer. Oh, maybe, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, neither one got their additional. That kind of bums me out. But at least they both got their boosting go uh, going. The second turn, do we have both of the freezes together? I don't know. I think I only saw one. So we're actually going to have to wait a little bit for one of our rotations to settle in. Which will suck, but 
again, you know, this is how this is how these types of events work. They don't always work out in your favor. So yeah, Golden Freeze is going to be on his own for a little bit, and uh, we'll have to wait for the. Oh man, he's going to be out for a little bit. This guy's going to be out for like four more turns. All right, so Cooler's up first. We want to avoid having him do anything. Although I guess we maybe want him to nerf. Nah. Nah, yeah, let's just do it. Okay, let's have him nerf uh, Goku for a bit. Then we'll have Golden Frieza go. And let's not have Boo Tanks get involved. Boo Tanks is, is too strong. He's too good. Plus, he's going to do normal damage. This guy has type disadvantage, so it probably won't do a whole lot. But the main reason why we're doing it is so that we can nerf Goku a little bit. So there you go. See that? 500k. He nerfs him again. Very nice. This will probably do about 600k. And then uh, Golden Frieza can get going. And the longer we get to the stack, you know, the, obviously the better, the better off we'll be. And it also helps our chances of doing the no item event. The no item legendary Goku event, I should say. And he still gets the additional. He has he has no dupes, and he got the base built in additional. Wow, you gotta love that. You gotta love that. All right, fine. Seven hundred K. So be it. Okay. So unfortunately, yeah, Frieza is out here. Um, we'll have Cell pick all these up. That will make him quite strong. I don't think he'll kill. Frieza might kill. And if Frieza kills, man, we're actually going to be in a really tough spot because the Int Frieza has will have had gone two full appearances without contributing, right? No, no, not not two. One. At least well, he's been out for like two rounds, right? So basically like four or five turns, he hasn't been stacking at all. So that might come back to bite us in the butt later on. So let's hope that we don't kill him. <laughs> cool. All right. So that's great. Um, yeah, so Frieza will be back in two more turns, folks. That's actually really bad. Uh, I think we'll just keep these guys untransformed. Actually, I don't know. I don't know about that. If we have them, nah, we, I think we better transform them. Because if we transform them, this will help speed the process along. Because, you know, I mean, look, we're, we're doing a showcase while also trying to achieve something. Having these guys be a little bit stronger will help get the process going faster. So I guess, yeah, we're gonna transform them both. So no more support. As their uh, transformations take place, they lose the support part of their passive and they focus on offense. So they will be a lot more powerful. By the time we get to MUI, we'll have at least maybe two uh, one million attack stat units. I was gonna say monsters. I'm thinking uh, Pokemon or Duel Links right now. But I mean, they are monsters, look at them. They're ridiculous. So yeah, these two guys, uh, I, don't, I don't want them to do all this damage though, that's the thing. Okay, I'm gonna keep the additional heavy one off rotation because he is very good. The friend unit um, has a bunch of additionals. He's got 24 additionals, so he's probably gonna get multiple attacks off anyway. I'd rather my unit stack more than his just because mine doesn't have the same level of additionals that he does. Actually, in fact, he has none at all. So yeah, let's uh, let's have fun with this. Oh, actually, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have given that other cooler that super attack. I should have given him just one orb. All right, so we're gonna take some damage here, even though we're tanking 90%. This is still gonna hurt a little bit. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> 32 damage. Just kidding. Just kidding. Man, I never get. It never gets old seeing that though. Cooler will be one of the best TRs in the game for many, many Dokkan Fests to come. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So that's already a lot of damage. We kind of need to tone that down a little bit. So hopefully the friend unit doesn't go too crazy with the additionals. This is one of those situations where the additionals, for once, needs to simmer down, you know? Oh my god, 1.4. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Oh my god, dude. Okay. All right. All right, cool. So yeah, we're gonna keep you. Actually, wait. <laughs> How do we want to do this? Do we want him to just raise his attack infinitely? Man, we might get three guys in one in the one million range, because this guy raises attack too. What the heck is going on here? All right, so let's give the. Wow, this is actually not a good setup. Okay, so we'll give these to sell. Uh, then we'll have Frieza go second. They both picked each other's orbs, which is funny. And then we'll give uh, we'll give this to Bootanks. Okay, as long as Frieza can get an attack in as well, that will be nice. But I doubt that's going to... Uh, yes! Okay. Frieza got to stack as well. Neither one has done an additional yet, which is going to be concerning in a few rounds. 
but at least they are staying consistent. So they will be able to keep pace with each other, and that's good, because they will both be equally strong and equally reliable on the orb pickups for those heals. All right, so this is what we care about, right? We want to have Frieza be able to take some hits, and I also don't even know how he is, so I'm actually going to have Frieza go first, because I want to see how well this 50% uh, damage reduction when guarding all attacks works. So we'll give that to Frieza, then we'll have Golden Frieza be in the middle. In case we do get some sort of an attack in the middle, he will be able to tank it. I, I feel like between the two of those, we're going to be just fine. Like, this isn't going to be a problem. All right, 647, 29, 19. Pretty good. I mean, those are just slaps. That's pretty good. He has no defense boosting in his passive. I mean, in his super attack. So he is going to be taking more and more damage as the event goes on. Um, but as long as his attack goes up in the process, that will help keep him viable. But so far, so good. Neither uh, neither rotation is at, uh, at risk for any sort of uh, major weak point. Except for maybe these guys. They need to calm down. Oh my god. Dude, three, uh, three attacks total with all those crits. That's going to be a lot of damage. Um, okay, so let's have Frieza this time go first. And then we'll have Cell go... Man, Cell may not even be able to attack. I should have thought about that. Whoa, look at that. With with his nuking passive, he's at 600k and 200k. Wow. Yo, that's crazy. All right, Frieza, please don't hit me with an additional. Please. Don't do that to Cell like that. Don't do him dirty like that. One. Oh, my God. <laughs> the crit. All right. All right, so uh, Frieza has now broken ahead a little bit. Ooh, but here we go. Look at that. Hello. Hello. All right. So you can go. You can go. And Boo Tanks, I do want him to attack. I do need him to raise his attack a little bit. So I am going to give him... I am going to give him a little bit of orbs. Okay, so next turn we're getting a Dokkan attack. So we, we are going to probably take some damage here towards the end because Boo Tanks doesn't thrive as much on defense, especially when he doesn't have his Majin power compatriots with him to help him heal and tank and all that stuff. So whatever damage we do take here, we will heal from our Dokkan attack in the next one. And we'll probably have Frieza do it. Actually, not probably, definitely. Because even though the nuking passive is there for the cell, he's at type disadvantage and he is one turn behind when it comes to stacking. So, yeah. How many orbs can we actually... Oof. I don't know now because all of these orbs, that's 11 orbs. That's, oh my god. I actually really want to see how that would work now. Uh, what do I do? Okay, I'm going to have Cell go first. That's stupid, though. That's really stupid. I'm doing it. I'm going to be stupid. I'm doing it. 11 orbs picked up. He's got 200k defense, 600k attack. This is before he even uses his super attack, which will boost it even more. Then we'll have Frieza go, and then we'll have Cooler. Please don't super sell. <laughs> if we lose here, I only have myself to blame. I only have myself to blame. Boop, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep. Okay. So this attack will... He, okay, so he's at 2.2 million with this attack. So this will do a lot of damage. So... Whatever damage we take, we will heal a pretty substantial amount. Granted, this does a lot. He's got 20 additional. He's got 6 crit. 1.6 mil. That's not too bad. And he's going to... Oh, God. Okay, so we, we only hit him once. We boost our defense. Whoa! 200k. We deserve it. We deserve it. That's what I get for being a psycho. Oh, you know what sucks? I think this actually gets me in major trouble. Because now, Frieza, Golden Frieza, will not be able to tank at all. Oh, no, no. You know what? No, no, no. We are above 40%. We're fine. We're fine. We're above 40%. What's what's Golden Frieza's passive? Damage received by 90% when HP... Okay, well, yeah, we're fine. Whew. Whew. Can you imagine how bad that would have been? Oh, that would have been so bad. All right, let's have... Uh... Let's have the Int Frieza take those hits in the beginning. He'll go first. Golden Frieza can go second. And then Cooler can go third. 
Actually, in hindsight, that's probably not a good idea because now there's a chance that Frieza will take him out before Golden Frieza could even go. Oh, okay, perfect. It works out. We got lucky there. All right, so both of them stack, and we move on to Goku Blue. This is actually going a lot faster than I thought. We're 15 minutes in on the single take, and we're at Goku Blue. Despite all my thinking and whatnot, this is actually working out pretty well. Um, so here... Okay, obviously, it's, it's got to be Frieza going first. It's got to be. Like, there's, there's no way. Okay, so I'm going to actually give him these. And then I'm going to give all of these orbs... Oh, man, which way do we go here? No matter how you spin it, he's only picking up six orbs at most. Okay. So we're going to give these, actually, to sell. So with six orbs picked up, he does boost his stats tremendously, so it's fine. And uh, and then, of course, we've got Boo Tanks again. Boo Tanks, he is... Is he raising his attack? He is. He's at 300k. If he transforms, though, what happens to his defense? He raises an attack for one turn. He gains defense. Huh... I'm not sure. I feel like actually having him transform might be more important. Because Okay, let's see. When he goes Ultra Super, he doesn't do anything with defense. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave him I'm gonna leave him as is for now. I'm going to leave him as is for now. We're, we're going to see what we need to do with this guy. All right, so these attacks shouldn't do a whole lot. Although, he hasn't boosted his stats yet. So this actually will do a lot more damage than it should. But because of Frieza's passive, where he doesn't gain his stats until he uses a super tag, yeah. We just unnecessarily took 100k. But either way, it would have done a lot of damage. Probably more if Cell went first, because Cell, even though he has the nuking and all that, he can't he can't take those hits from neutral damage. He just can't do it. Okay, nice job by, by Frieza there. So Frieza's really breaking away, and Cell is kind of falling behind because... Uh, and that's very ironic, because Frieza has 15 additional... Cell has 20, and Cell has not done a single additional super attack yet, so... It's kind of ironic that it's happening that way, but you know what? That's how RNG works, right? Alright, so Bootanks gets his Ultra Super in, and uh, it's better that we don't have him get supered, because that would probably mean game over. And, uh, wow, actually, this could very well be game over, because if he supers cooler at the end, we don't survive that. We absolutely do not survive that. All right, so Int uh, Frieza go first, AGL Golden Frieza go second, and may the force be with you, Cooler. No items, turn 12, Goku Blue, let's see how this goes. You know, it's funny, every time he does that super attack, it looks like Frieza is absorbing energy. It doesn't actually look like he's sending it out. Okay, so we are going to be guarding this, and we're going to tank 50%. This will still hurt, though. 20k? Oh my god, this Frieza's so good! 20,000 damage? Are you kidding me? Yo, that is crazy. That is ridiculous. If we can get out of this next turn, we're in the clear. Because Cooler will no longer be a liability. In fact, actually, no, that's not true. We will not be in the clear because then Boo Tanks will be the liability against... <laughs> oh, no, we might take him out right here. He might be the liability against UI Goku. I might have to use items. I might have to use items. You know what, though? This was still good. First try, no item. Up till UI. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, he's not here. Ooh. We might do this, actually. Seven. Seven. Okay. No matter how you spin it, he's going to get seven. Okay. So let's give Cell these seven. That puts him up to 600, 200 again. Same, same amount. Uh, Frieza will give these... And then we'll give all of these to Cooler. At this point, we don't want to be we don't want to be taking it easy. We want to just put the foot on the gas, and we want to take this guy out as quickly as possible. Because the more opportunities we give him to annihilate our units, the more likely we're going to lose. So we really have to go on the offensive. Unfortunately, because of the coolers, it accelerated our growth or our movement throughout the event much faster, and didn't allow the growth to be a lot slower and more gradual. Like we didn't we just didn't cover more ground, right? So, had we taken a little bit longer with maybe a different lead, this would have probably shaped out a lot differently. Granted, it would take longer, but the stats of these stackers would be a lot higher at this point. But I feel like at least these two guys will be able to hold their own. Actually, no, you know what? All of them will. Because the Frieza can tank 50% of the damage. Mmm, but it's this last guy, man, that scares the heck out of me. 
If he supers Boo Tanks, that is GG. There is no re from that. That is absolutely GG. Okay, so Golden Frieza obviously goes first. And then... This Frieza. I really don't know. I really don't know. Recover is 12%. I don't know. I don't know. Um, no, we're gonna leave him. We're gonna leave him. We need him this way. All right, let's heal as much as we can and let's pray. That's actually pretty good. Okay, we have a one out of ten chance that we get supered at the end. If we get if we get supered at the end, I'm gonna leave this video as is. You guys will just have to accept that it happened that way. Um, whatever. Okay, yeah, he supered me here. So this is still going to hurt, though. We're still going to take a lot of damage at the end, but it would have been way worse if the other thing had happened. Uh, no additionals. We're still getting no additionals. That's really, really disappointing me. Not one additional from Frieza or Cell. Come on, man. Oh, wow, 10k? That's it? I would have thought that would have been a lot more. Never mind. I stand corrected. Um, it looks like their defense is boosting up. So, they are actually looking pretty good. They are looking pretty good. I'm going to leave Cell up front because Cell, when he picks up all these orbs, will have a really, really high stat count. Yeah, so 700k, 200. And then Frieza will have an opportunity to attack first and then boost his stats even more. So, this is exactly the rotation we want. Everybody's in place. We could potentially kill him right here if Cooler actually lands all these hits. But UI Goku does have a 10% chance to dodge each attack. And it has happened where he will dodge two or three attacks in a row. It does happen to me. I'm sure it's happened to you guys. Let me know in the comments if you have fought STR UI and you've actually been given the MUI treatment where he dodged like, dodged like two or three attacks at once. Let me know if that's happened to you. Because it's happened to me many, many times. He got some good damage though. Cell just attacked twice. I saw that. Frieza attacked once. And he's not dodging this. So he is about to probably die. Oh, so close. Oh, he's dead now. <laughs> he didn't dodge a single one of our attacks, actually. Yo, we might do this no item first try. Not might. I think we are, actually. So obviously, Golden Freeze is going first. Uh, Oh, that's actually a shame that we can't have him... Okay, Golden Frieza will go first, Int Frieza will go second, and then Cooler will go third, and the stats are looking pretty good. Even if we took a massive hit at the end, thats I don't think that's too bad, because next turn we're going to come back with the Boo Tanks, he'll give us 12% HP. We're fine. Oh, we're totally fine. Let's give, uh, which one do we pick up? Let's pick this one up. Oh, wait a second. You know what? Freeze is going to be a problem. Tech Freeze is going to be a problem. We might actually have to use an item. Tech Freeze is going to be a problem because we have not stacked him enough where if he were to use a couple super attacks, he would be over the threshold where a tech unit wouldn't get you killed. There is a threshold. I believe it's 300k for the defense or 400k or something like that. No, maybe it's, I think it's like 360. If you get to 360k, your tech units are fine on this stage. So actually, there is cause for concern, and we, we finally dodged. On UI, I believe it's a 30% dodge rate, right? Or 50. Oh wow, he's attacking. Oof, he's attacking my cooler. I would have preferred the other guys, but okay, fine. Three. I'll take that. You know what? I'm gonna take that. That is still a good showcase. I, you know what? It's, it's fine. It's fine. We got to see what these two units are capable of on a long form event. That's what matters. And what's fun about these two is that they're not the standard cookie cutter stacking units. They have their upsides and their downsides. The cool thing about Cell is that you can, you can anticipate a lot of damage coming in and use him as a tank if you pick up enough orbs to brace for impact. That's what's cool about this guy. So you give him his temporary passive each and every turn depending on your orb situation. So that's him, while at the same time giving him the opportunity to shore up that weakness over time using his attack and defense stacking. Whereas Frieza is a little more of a sure thing. You know you're gonna get a standard boost of attack and defense 120 and 100% respectively. 
you will get that after you use your super attack. But before that, you probably cannot take a hit. So, over time, you stack your attack and defense so that you can shore up your stat line so that you can accommodate those situations where you actually have to wait. And then, you're good. So, I like it. I think it's good. I think, I think this is good. I like it. Oh yeah, and of course, you know, these two guys. This, well, this guy's ridiculous. And then, uh, this is a huge surprise for me. I never did a showcase on this guy. So I will, I will tell you right now, if you have not used him, pick him up, get him done. This unit comes from the Dokkan event. Uh, is it Emperor of the Universe? Starts off as this guy. He starts off from very humble beginnings too. SR, first form, Pod Frieza. Dokkan awakens into this SSR unit. You probably saw him. You never wanted to pick him up because he's terrible. Then when he TURs into this guy, you then give him the EZA treatment and boom, he's a monster. So, all in all, very good team. Very satisfied. It's a shame that I lost the way that I did, but first try no item all the way up till there in like 20 minutes. That's pretty good. And we could totally beat that. You could totally, totally beat that. If I had time to edit and, you know, do a couple takes, I totally would. But not bad for a first take. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on these two units. I appreciate how they work, and uh, I look forward to using them more. So let me know your thoughts on these two guys, Cell and Frieza, in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future, and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned, and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.